Hi everybody! Today I'm doing a video that is going to do a review and um, a feature on another complement uh, to tube feeding, a product called the Free Arm, specifically the Free Arm Muscle. I recently did a video showing um, a hack on how you can pump out of a squeezy bottle. Uh, I'll put a link below if you haven't seen that video. Um, another option to help reduce waste going to the landfill um, by using a squeezy bottle. And anyway, out of that video, I was pleasantly surprised. I was reached out um, by one of the founders of the Free Arm, and um, she wanted me to know about her product, which I'm going to share with you today because I actually think it's pretty fantastic. Um, it's called the Free Arm. It is um, a product that you can use to hold um, your feeding pump as well as your feeding bag or in this case I'm even going to show you that it can hold a squeezy bottle so that you can pump out. Um, not only that, you can use the free arm to gravity feed. Um, let me see what else. Uh, there's a lot of uses for this product. So without further ado, um, let me show you some of the great features. Okay, so the first feature of the free arm that I like almost probably the best about the product, and by the way, this is not paid advertising, um, this is just my honest share and feedback of the free arm product. Um, but in any case, the, the first uh, feature that I want to share is the clamp. Um, so I guess this is going to show up backwards in the video, but in any case, this is the type of clamp that is used at the base of the free arm. As you can see, it's not your typical uh, cell phone holder type of alligator clamp. Um, this is going to be way sturdier. Um, and the best part about this clamp is that it's going to not only secure onto flat surfaces, but because of this um, cup shaped design it will actually also screw onto anything that's rounded um, so uh, I will show you an example where I've clipped it onto the bar of my son's swing um, you could also clip it to anything that has curves on it as long as you have a sturdy base to clip this clamp onto and it's got this spring-loaded feature where you can just adjust um, the distance which is really great and as an engineer I appreciate these design details so pressing that button down you can easily adjust how wide which I also find that's another difference is that the um, tolerance or the allowance for what you could screw it onto is quite a bit wider than most um, cell phone holders uh, that are a cheaper product so the next feature is this silicone uh, rubber part on the base of the free arm, um, which is where you can attach your pump. Um, you know, normally where you use the clamp on your infinity pump or kangaroo pump uh, to attach to an IV pole. This is the spot where you can attach it onto the free arm. Again, on a cell phone holder, this particular part does not exist. So clamping onto that is not going to be nearly as secure as a dedicated spot like on the free arm. And then last, we've got um, a holder up top, which actually has a built-in hook, upside down hook, for hanging a feed bag, whether it's kangaroo or infinity. Um, they've also got this notch inside the top of the free arm where you can hang things as well um, and then I have discovered that you can actually clamp a squeezy bottle in here no problem and pump. I was a little bit worried about whether the squeezy bottle would remain clamped as it's getting um, emptied as it collapses in on itself but it totally does um, which is great and so these are kind of the main features of the free arm product. I will show it um, in action, but I just wanted to show you um, some of the key features on it before I get it set up to go. Um, really, the benefit of this free arm is that you can take it anywhere um, with you. It is super, super sturdy. I did have um, a question about, you know, the price of the product, which is definitely undeniably more expensive um, than just buying 
a cheap cell phone holder that's going to be $15, $20 off Amazon. Um, but having tested this product, I will say that it is very, very uh, well made. Um, the actual uh, bar itself is really sturdy. Um, you're not going to find a cell phone holder that's going to be comparable to this. Um, I think the free arm folks have done a really good job um, engineering and you know getting this product to the point where it is going to be very secure especially when you're talking about um, holding a very expensive piece of equipment um, pumps are eight hundred dollars if not more and I certainly wouldn't want to secure it to something um, that could fall down uh, causing your pump to break um, I was also told um, by the free arm folks when I was asking about the cost of the product and why it is higher um, than you know like a manufactured cell phone product cell phone holder and I was told that it is um, being sold as a medical product so of course anything medical automatically the price point goes up but the reason for that is a lot of hidden costs around uh, FDA approvals so in order to certify with the FDA um, it's quite a um, expensive lump sum I think like five thousand dollars and this uh, certification is needed in order for products to be sold in hospitals and as well as to qualify for insurance coverage under DMEs. Um, so I know um, Misty, uh, one of the founders of Free Arm, has told me that um, this is one of their goals uh, to have the Free Arm product in hospital systems and to be able to be provided um, to tube feeders through insurance, uh, which is great. And I think for now, for my fellow Canadians, this is their vision um, probably starting just in the United States. So hopefully more to come. Um, in Canada, we are able to order a free arm uh, online. And um, let me set this up and then I'll show you how it works with the pump and the feed bag or the squeezy bottle. And I'm um, happy, to, happy to share to see if this is a product that might help your uh, tube feeding regimen. So this is my son Magnus um, using the free arm. He is feeding, actually I see dose done there. So he is currently just finished feeding. Um, and I wanted to share with you how the free arm looks when it's in action. Um, so literally, like I said, you can clamp the free arm onto anything uh, that is sturdy enough to take the weight of your pump and your feed bag. And like I said, I'm um, talking about quality of it being sturdy to make sure that your equipment is going to be safe. Um, it is a great product. It has this um, hook on the clamp so that you can hang a feed bag. Um, you can also hang it on the ridges in here. Um, but as you can see, uh, the setup is great. You can bend the free arm into any sort of uh, angle that you need. Um, the clamp will clamp perpendicularly or horizontally. Um, I'll show you in a moment um, how it can clamp onto a swing. Actually, maybe I'll just show a picture of how it also clamps onto a swing at an angle. Um, and I did want to show everybody uh, quickly how this can also adapt to be um, holding a squeezy bottle for pump feeding out of a squeezy bottle. Have a different video showing how you can reduce the waste of these feed bags by replacing it with a reusable squeezy bottle to pump feed. I'll put a link in that um, in the video description below as well. Um, but in any case, it's super helpful um, for us and for Magnus. Um, and that reminds me, I'll have to do a different video on Magnus's story. Uh, so just give me a moment here and I'm going to set up the uh, system here for the squeezy bottle and show you how adaptable um, this free arm muscle is. So this is the squeezy bottle setup for pumping out of a squeezy bottle instead of a normal feed bag. Um, again, we've recycled the parts off of a feed bag. There's a hack for that um, in a separate video that I've demonstrated how to do that. 
This, I just wanted to show you how well the free arm uh, works to hold a squeezy bottle. Um, the This is a six ounce um, squeezy bottle, which is all Magnus takes in a current feed. Um, this is Magnus and he is actually feeding right now, believe it or not. One of the things I love about tube feeding is it kind of makes it so easy. In any case, I wanted to also show that the um, free arm can hold a 16 ounce squeezy bottle as well in case your tube feeder does take larger feeds. Um, you would just uh, rig it up the same way so that the tubing comes out. But uh, the weight of a 16 ounce bottle, including the liquid, is certainly not an issue for the free arm. Um, again, so many applications that you could use it for. Um, you can put in a syringe and do gravity feeds as well if you hook up an extension uh, to your kiddo, if that's the way that your tubey um, feeds. It's just very versatile. Overall, I think it is a great product. Um, certainly, uh, it's expensive. It's, it's, well, I shouldn't say it's expensive. It's not cheap. Um, but that's both in quality and in price point. Um, there are other options if you can't um, purchase a free arm or a free arm muscle today. Um, but what I would say is if the product interests you, then it would probably be beneficial to ask your hospitals, ask your insurance providers or DMEs. Um, whether you know, whether they know about the product and maybe that'll help expedite making that product more accessible um, for everybody so anyways I hope um, the introduction to the free arm uh, product to help assist in tube feeding uh, may be beneficial for you and your tubies and we'll certainly have more videos to come um, hopefully that can help our community